and my name is Monica and today we're going to be talking about all of the best MCAT resources that are out there. Everything that I used, everything that was effective and exactly how I used them. I know, I get it, it's not the sexiest topic, but stick with me you guys because this is important. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my first MCAT video where I talk all about the different strategies that I used and the mindset that I needed to develop in order to do well in the MCAT. And my second video where I talk about exactly how I reviewed my practice exams because you guys, that was key. That made all the difference in the world. And in this video, we're gonna talk about all of the most helpful MCAT resources that are available to you. There's so much out there, there's so much available, and you can waste so much time just trying to find the best resources for you, what works, what doesn't work. So I'm gonna save you all of the time because I spent hours doing this. So you're welcome, and let's get to it. The first thing, in terms of books, the only content learning apparatus were the Kaplan books. Um, they're basically a set of seven books, I want to say, but it covers every section on the MCAT plus give or take a few additional things that they have in there. Um, those were amazing. I think they're a really good way to know what is on the MCAT, what kind of knowledge that you need to know, and basically at the level that you need to know it at. Now, I'll say one thing about the books. I think all of them were really effective. The only ones that I didn't really use was the Cars book. I just didn't think that it was helping me in any way. And then the second one that I didn't use was Psych and Soch, even though, you know, I've heard different things, but for me personally, I did not use the Kaplan Cars or the Kaplan Psych and Soch. Number two, now, I know I said that the only learning apparatus I used was the Kaplan books, um, and that is true, but if there was any kind of topic or content that was just like unfamiliar to me that I didn't really like, feel completely confident in and I was reading the book and I was like I don't get you I would use the Khan Academy videos that are on YouTube and I would also use kind of any YouTube videos I think AK Lectures is really good so if you want to find a resource that kind of helps present the information a different way then I would recommend Khan Academy and I'd also recommend AK Lectures all right number three and I'm sure you guys have heard of this already but you world was a godsend. It was so, so, so good as a practice resource. I mean, I would recommend doing every single practice question that you can find on UWorld. They have so many, and I feel like they're so replicative of the actual exam, like in terms of how they want you to think and how you're doing problem solving and what kinds of questions that can show up. Your world is really, really good with that. And there's so many different settings that they have too. You can do timed, you can do untimed. There's also one where you can like mix and match the subjects and that's really really effective as well so i know you world an investment but my god so well worth the money you guys use you world jack weston now for cars i feel like bottom line the biggest thing that will make a difference is practice like you should be doing one to two practice passages a day and jack weston's really good with that because they literally email you a passage to your inbox a, like a new one every single day the next one is all of the AMC materials. You guys, you should be spending all of your money on all of the AMC stuff. The only caveat to that is the flashcards. I didn't really make use of the flashcards, but their section banks, their question packs, their um, full lengths, especially their full lengths, buy all of it and be very strategic of how you use it. I use the AMC material, like the section bank and the question packs throughout my studying, but I reserve the full lengths towards the end of my studying. So my actual MCAT score was basically an average of all of the AMC full length exams that I took. So I basically reserved it towards the end just because I thought it would give me a better idea of how I was going to score on the actual thing and that was absolutely the case. So when I took it, I think there were three and now that there are four, buy all of them, use all of them. To my next thing, practice exams. So I did practice exams from, I guess, three different companies. First one was Kaplan. I did about four practice exams from there. And then next step was the next company that I utilized. And the reason I did next step was because I'd heard that it was harder than the actual thing. And I heard it was harder than any of the other resources. So I was like, if I can handle UWorld, then I feel pretty confident. And that is absolutely true. Next step was definitely harder. And the only like, it was really good for the chem and phys sections because they were just really hard. So I felt like I was like preparing for the worst, but the car section was just not good at all. Like, I just don't think they were in any way indicative of the actual exam. I, even like the way they made you think on there, I just don't think it was very, um, 
good if you're taking a practice exam like definitely take all of it like don't just skip a section because you're still building stamina it's still good practice so just do all of it but when you're reviewing maybe spend less time reviewing the car section and more on all the other sections and speaking of practice exams i'm going to include all of my practice exam scores in the description box below but take all of that with a grain of salt right because just because i did a particular way on a practice exam that i scored what i scored that doesn't mean that it's going to be the same or anything like that it's just all a good way to kind of test your own knowledge and to build your own strength but i know everyone wants to know everyone's practice exam scores i was the same exact way so i'll definitely put that in the description box and the next um company that i used for practice exams was amc so in total i guess i used three different companies for their practice exams so the next resource that i used and this was for the psych and soch section but it was the 300 page document and this is a transcript of all of the khan academy videos that relate to psych soch but it's put in like a document format so that was really really helpful for me and i think honestly if you have that down pat you don't really need anything else for psych soch and like i said i didn't really use the kaplan psych soch books to study for that particular section so I'm also going to link that 300 page document in the description box in case you want to look it over or see what I'm talking about. Now the last two things that I'll mention are kind of not necessarily MCAT specific resources but just resources that literally were the most amazing things for me. One was Anki and I'm sure you guys have heard of Anki but Anki was so effective for all the things that you need to like rote memorize. I wouldn't recommend it for things like pathways or um, you know concepts. But I would recommend it for all of those kind of like tiny details that you need to know or anything that you just have to memorize basically like amino acid structures or the three letter thing or charge or whatever, you know, all of the stuff that you just have to memorize. Anki is so incredible for that. I also felt like if I learned Anki now while I was studying for the MCAT, I would have less of a learning curve and I'm inevitably going to have to use it in med school. All right, and then the last resource, which is honestly one of my favorite things ever, I sound like a nerd, but it's just the best thing that you guys will ever use is a whiteboard. And this wasn't like a big, you know, wall kind of whiteboard. I just used a tiny one like here. And I'm gonna link that whiteboard in the description box and you guys need to buy it. I got it on Amazon. It was like, I don't know, less than $10. And it's life changing. And all of the resources that I mentioned, I'm gonna link all of them in the description box. So it's easy for you to find, it's easy for you to know basically what I'm talking about and how to find it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, you know, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. I talk a lot about MCAT and pre-med and my med school journey all over there. So come, come join, come hang out. Let's be friends. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.